I've got a very important message for you today. But first, I'd like to tell you a story. About 15 years ago, when I got to the UK, I was picking up my daughter from school in Liverpool. And as I climbed on the bus, I had no car at that time. The bus was crammed full of people. There was hardly any place for me to sit down. All the seats were taken. As I climbed on the bus with my little daughter, aged about three, I was wondering how I was, I was going to support myself and hold her up to the time that we got off the bus at our final destination. Now, at that moment, a young British male, around 30 to 35 years old, rose up from his seat and asked me to take his place. He said, sit down with your daughter. I know it's a very cramped bus. And he smiled at me. That image has stuck with me for 15 years. And that image exemplifies the typical British person in the United Kingdom today. The typical British person today is one that welcomes people into their country. They welcome migrants. They live happily with migrants. But what I'm going to do today is to announce the creation of a new political party called the Migrant Party. Since arriving in the United Kingdom, I've observed race relations within the community and drawn the conclusion that if something is not done, the good habit of that young man on that bus might be ignored. And this society may sleepwalk towards its own holocaust in a few short years. Some may find this remark extreme, but Germany, the land of the holocaust in days past, has just declared a Nazi emergency in Dresden, the capital of Saxony, to deal with the resurgence of the far right. While the British people may happily interact with migrants, employ them to do jobs, including babysitting their children, and eat from restaurants set up by migrants, politicians in this country have turned a few radical elements against migrants through the use of derogatory language. The Prime Minister Boris Johnson once described Africans, such as myself, as having watermelon smiles. He said Muslim women wearing their hijabs look like letter boxes and armed robbers. There have been reports of anti-Semitism, the hatred against Jewish people in the Labour Party, while the Conservative Party has continued to struggle with Islamophobia, the hatred against Muslims. Far-right hard Brexit advocate Nigel Farage has been going around the country trying to convince people that migrants are bad for the community. He went as far as saying that migrants from Europe will attack women sexually in Great Britain. Now, as a result of this toxic and horrendous atmosphere created by politicians and their radical followers, Britain has now become unsafe for migrants, and there have been several attacks on men, women, and children who just want to go about their daily lives. It seems as though all political parties in the United Kingdom are competing among themselves to show which one can hurt migrants the most. Right-wing racist fanatics have followed their cue and attacked foreign-born people on the streets. Around 5.30 p.m. on the 23rd of August 2019, two women were attacked for wearing hijabs as they passed innocently through North Ealing Underground Station in London. British Transport Police said the women, one in her 60s and another in her 30s, suffered verbal attacks. These fine Muslim ladies were simply attacked for wearing the veil commonly worn by Muslim women, called the hijab. Shortly afterwards, 
They were physically assaulted, leaving the elder of the two women with potentially broken ribs and the younger victim with a black eye, bruising and internal bleeding. Incidents such as these spurred me to create the Migrant Party to open up public debate about the situation. And that is why I need your help. While major political parties have wealthy donors contributing large sums of money into their bank accounts, the Migrant Party, which I've created, has only members, supporters, or sympathizers like yourself. We need resources to start doing useful work for migrants and serving the whole of the United Kingdom so that we can build a better society where people traveling to or living in the United Kingdom can be safe, happy, and respected. By supporting the Migrant Party, you are also helping my own political career as I aim to become a parliamentarian and continue working from within parliament. The great British thinker Edmund Burke once said that all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. I know you have good hearts. I know you have hearts for this country. I know you have hearts for peace and for harmony. And that's why I've come to you today. When you make your donation today, you can be proud that you are joining me to make history, that you are making a significant contribution toward making the UK a more peaceful, more harmonious country, and that by helping eradicate the scourge of racism, you are helping to save lives that would otherwise be disrupted or destroyed by hate if nothing is done. I would like to formally recognize your donation with a certificate of appreciation. Please indicate if you would like your certificate to be electronic or if you would like us to send you a printed copy to your home address. I'm so grateful for your generosity and I wish you the very best now and in the years to come.